What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom! What's up, episode 423? Uh, sorry, my voice cracked a little bit there. All right, so there's a new, old rotator cuff move that I'm bringing back to life. In about, we'll say, 1987. There's a thing called the shoulder horn, Danny. Danny, what are you sitting on? This is a this, dope chair. this is a master's chair, Gregory. That would be me. All right. So there was this thing. <clears throat> man, I can't talk today. Called the shoulder horn that was in these old muscle magazines. That was for rotator cuffs. Now, I don't know if the motherfucker worked, but it kind of looked like this exercise, and that's what I'm going to showcase today. I am trying desperately to continue to find things that will make my, let me push this all the way back, my upper back strong and my mid to lower trap so stable that I can bench press 315 faster than Danny can bench press 225. False. <laughs> True. <laughs> so this is one of the ways that I've, I've figured out. So this is in the new Get Stacked 91 4 a.m. crew against the world. Now. It depends on everyone's height. And everyone that's done this, including my wife, actually, who had some upper back problems, has done this and felt more stable. This would be good for you before you snatch, Danny. <laughs> anyway. All right, so you want to set it up to where you're like right below your traps is kind of dug into the bench and your arms are up like this. Kind of like, you know, your rotator cuff exercise you see like people do with bands. You're let the gravity kind of pull it down and then rotate up. When you get here, keep your chin through. So when I'm right here, all I can feel is my traps firing right between my shoulder blades, which is where you want your stability for your bench and your pressing. And so what I'm doing is, is letting, now I would start with like threes or fives. This is actually pretty hard. I've been doing eights or tens, so I've been doing it for a couple weeks. And dare I say, I believe this could end up being, uh, ready for this, Danny? The equivalent of lunging for the lower body for pressing. Wow. I potentially think this could be it. So I text Jake Holland about how many reps like 400 meters is. And he said it's like 300. Well, for him, because he's six foot eight, it's like 300. So I've been doing about 150 of these a day because that would be like, Back and forth would obviously be 300, but I'm doing two at a time. So once again, right here, a little below, up and squeeze. Don't let your body move. Let your actual joint rotate. And what will happen is, here, come here, Danny, you can be my model. Yeah, go this way. So when the, when the joint is rotating down like this, and this is trapped so it can't move, then I also like the angle of the arm to be a little bit more like that. And if you're not muscling it, muscling it you're actually rotating it. Put it, your other arm up too, Danny. As you're coming through and you stick your head through, it's gonna activate literally right between your shoulder blades, which is where all your strength comes from. You're pressing, you're snatching, all of that. Okay. And so doing that superset with some chin down shrugs activates exactly where you need to be to be tight on your bench. Now for me, because I have one less shoulder, uh, one less rotator cuff, my shit has to be super locked. Immediately my bench felt stronger once I kind of refigured this out. That's why I'm making gains all <laughs> over the place. All right, Nodge Bomb, episode 423. It's the secret new old shoulder rotator cuff double arm um, Nodge bomb. <laughs> <laughs>